Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Joe Lansdale's Savage Season. I almost forgot the name of the book there. Um, but before we get started, I listened to this one on Scribed. Um, Scribed has the entire Hap and Leonard series. Uh, there's a link down there in the doobly-doo. If you want a free month, you get a free month. My kids get a free month because it's their, uh, uh, not affiliate link because we're not really an affiliate, but if you share, uh, if you use that link, they get a free month and you get a free month. And I don't care if you keep Scribed or not, but if you want to try it out, you know, use the link and then my kids get a free month. We, it's, it's a win for both of us. But anyways, on with the review. Okay, so Savage Season is about uh, Hap and Leonard, two good old boys. Um, uh, I, I think it's important to mention this. One of them is a, is a white dude um, and the other one is a gay black man. Um, I, that fits into a lot of the stuff where me and my buddy Aaron are buddy reading this since we got done with the John Connolly series so far anyways. We're waiting on the nameless ones. But we decided to start Lansdale's series, Happen Leonard's series. Um, and there's a lot of referencing to, um, you know, the fact that one of them is black and gay and the other one is white, more so in Mucho Mojo, uh, the second book. Uh, but we'll talk about that when we get there. I really liked this book. Um, I am giving it, uh, I'm only giving it four stars. Um, and the reason is I want, a uh, room to grow kind of deal. Um, I'm already enjoying the second book much more. Uh, so this is a higher four stars uh, right now. Well, not right now. I'm going to give it a high four stars. Uh, there is, and this is something that's completely subjective. I don't know if it'll bother any of you. And I do not think that Joe Lansdale is racist or any of that nonsense. But there's a lot of use of the N-word in these books by, you know, both white people and black people. It, it doesn't matter. The N-word is everywhere. And I personally do not like reading the word or listening to the word and since I am listening to it I can't even skim over it I have to hear it over and over and over again and most of the time it's with the hard ER it just makes me cringe um, it's uh, not something that I enjoy so I'm throwing that out there for people who might feel the same way other than that I really enjoyed the book it is about uh, Happ and Leonard going out and uh, diving uh, to find uh, a, a vehicle and uh, th there's a lot more to the plot. The ending is really good. Um, there is, I, th I think the villain of this one was a, a little bit cartoony with the way he was talking to his uh, henchmen. Um, it's like, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for? He keeps doing that over and over again. I thought that was funny, um, but I like my villains to be villains. Um, and other than his near constant spewing of the N-word, the guy seemed like a, a bit a bit cartoonish. But uh, but I know people like this exist. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm going to let it go. But uh, the... The, the point, the, the thing that really struck me with this one is how goddamn funny it is. Um, I was laughing multiple times throughout. There is a rumor that uh, John Connolly got his inspiration for Angel and Louie in the Charlie Parker books uh, from Hap and Leonard's discourse. Uh, it rings true to me. I don't know. Um, I even asked Joe Lansdale. Joe Lansdale didn't know. John Connolly didn't actually respond to me. Um, but uh, Lansdale, when I said there about the rumor, Joe commented and he, he said, but were they? Question mark. I, I don't know. He doesn't know. Um, but the, the discourse, the back and forth, the banter certainly seems like uh, Angel and Louie were the inspiration, well, sorry, that uh, Happ and Leonard were the inspiration for Angel and Louie. I think I got that backward uh, to begin with. So to be clear, um, the rumor is that Happ and Leonard, because they came first, um, th these books are rather old, because they came first, that John Connolly read them and got the inspiration for Angel and Louie, and that might or might not be the case, I don't know. Um, I like the plot of this book. Uh, there's not a whole lot of plot though. Um, it's a very, very simple story and I enjoyed that. Um, the last book by Lansdale that I read was A Thin Dark Line, I believe it's called. Uh, another fantastic book, which, uh, it's funny because I struggled to get through it, uh, two or three times and I kept quitting it, but then I fell in love with it and I, I fell in love with these characters. I already love Hap and Leonard and I want to talk to you about Mucho Mojo and the character of Florida, but we can't yet. 
yet. Um, we got to get through this review, and I'm pretty much done here. These are older books. Um, it, if you were thinking about reading them, you've probably already read them, but if you were thinking about it and you haven't yet, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun, absolutely hilarious. Uh, Lansdale's uh, dialogue is absolute perfection, and the audiobooks especially are a lot of fun. I love the narrator, and I hope he's the narrator throughout the entire series. But have you read Savage Season? or any of the Happen Leonard books, let me know down there in the doobly-doo whether or not you liked them, loved them, hated them, felt meh about them. Any of those things that you felt, describe why you felt that way so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!